Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a weekly planner using Google Sheets. Good thing about using Sheets is that you can just save this template and update as you go, besides columns or rows and etc. and duplicate the sheets. For example, if you want to use this same template with slight variations for classrooms or um, school attendance, just duplicate the sheet and rename it and you're done. By the way, if this is your first time here and want to see more content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate all your support. To use Google Sheets, you will need to have a Google account. I have Gmail already, so I have a Google account. And if you don't have Gmail yet, then just create one. Then go to Google Sheets. So once you're in here, you can start designing the planner. I'm going to um, leave this first column blank since I'll use that for my hourly time slots. And let's start here and type our days of the week. And you can start Monday or Sunday and all. It's all up to you. So here, see, see. Now highlight all of this and then change it to bold. Now align center. You can also increase the font size over here. So let's just say it's 11. And you can also change the font face. I'll just leave it at Arial. And then resize the column as needed. To have the same exact size, select all the column and resize one column. This will automatically resize the other columns. Since Wednesday has the longest, I just have to resize this one and this will resize all the others and they have all the same exact size. Now we'll do the time here. You can start whenever you want. So I'll just start with 6 a.m. Let's put 6 a.m. And with this cell selected, drag the lower right side all the way down. And this will automatically do the rest of the time for you so you don't have to manually type them all. And also I want this column to be bold so i'll just highlight everything change it to bold so i'll have to do a to-do section here as well so i'll just type to-do list and then put a week of over here oh and by the way if you're enjoying this video and find it useful please be sure to hit the like button leaving a like really helps to promote my content to a larger audience which really help my channel and i truly appreciate it now let's add a border because even if you see these lines here you won't be able to see them when you print this so highlight the rows and columns, this all the way here. And I'll have maybe over here. Then click this icon that says borders and then all borders. And you can also change the border color over here as well as how the lines will look like. This one here. If you want a thicker line, then you can choose this or a dotted line. So let's just leave it at this one. And you can change whatever color you want. So I'll just use black and I've got these themes over here. If you don't have this one, it can be found in Format and Themes. And you can also customize anything around here. So if you click any of this, it will update everything to whatever is in the theme. And you can also create your own style. And this is really handy. Okay, let's try that theme. So now let's add some color to this. There are a lot of ways to do this. You can change the background color. For example, this cell. You can change the background color to say this. Or this one, you can change the font color to that, or you can also do both. So, for example, you have this darker color for your font, you can have a lighter color as a background. That will do as well. So, let's just go back and then change this to something like this. If you have your own colors, you can uh, click on this add button over here and then choose the color. You have your brand colors, just do it here. And if you don't know um, any of the colors, you can just look into some color picker apps or software and then just copy the hex number and then put it here and then hit OK. So that will change or that will have a new color. I want to put colors on certain cells and rows as well. So I'm just highlighting this row over here and just use random colors or light colors. Try to avoid dark colors on cells where you have to write something on. So you can do this in all of your time slots. I want to put a checkbox on my to-do list part. So go to that cell, for example, this one, and then go to insert and click on checkbox. Now that's in the center. Just left align it and here is what you need to remember though if you are printing this this should be fine however if you are using this digitally you cannot type on this cell so you need to create another column and move everything I know that's a bummer but it is what it is so if you try to type here 
it would say false yeah but it, digitally you cannot do this but if you're just going to print this this should be fine and now all you have to do is have check boxes all over here so you don't have to do the insert checkbox all over again all you have to do is either you copy and paste this one to all of the other boxes or the cells or just do it this way just drag it and then drag it again over here and now for my to-do list i want this merged so just highlight all of these rows and then click on select merge type icon and merge vertically and then center it and then rotate it up this and then center it again so you can change the font size again to bigger one and i want to change the background color for that to uh, maybe this color there you have it and now for the week off i also wanted to merge this one so just merge horizontally and it will merge like that and this is basically done all that's left is to do some formatting to the cells so like for like text wrap or, or something like that this way however long your text is it will just automatically resize the cell for you for example this cell if you go here and wrap so whatever you type here however long it is if you enter it it will automatically resize everything and you'll be able to read everything otherwise you won't see the rest of the text so you may want to change the fonts here also and to whatever you like and you can even insert graphics or images if you want just make sure the images are png or transparent background so it doesn't overlap any of the elements here so there you go now you have a template that you can use and modify anytime it's a very easy process so thanks for watching and if you have any tips and tricks to share leave a comment below and oh and don't be shy to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already all right see you in the next video bye